it'll be what it is and it'll be fun. This will make sense, maybe. Welcome back for another movement practice. This week we will work on our tripod transition and our inverted hand foot crawl or crab position. So make sure you have some water or a towel if you need it. Remember to move within your ability and to move at your own risk. Let's get started. Now we'll come into our butterfly stretch, bringing our heels in towards our center and we'll just flap our legs. We can incorporate a little side to side neck movement and chin to chest, ear to shoulder, chin up, ear to shoulder, chin down. Good. Send the right leg long and we'll fold forward. Since we're just warming up, we'll just ease in and out of each thing, switching sides. Not going too crazy. Good. Yeah, we'll come into a wide legged stance and we'll go ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. And then we'll sweep the right arm up and over. And switching, left arm up and over. And switch. Remember to breathe. We'll do one more each side after this one. Good. Let's come into our side bent sit. So I'm going to go right leg butterfly, left leg wrapping around the back. For now, let's plant the right hand. Just take any pressure out of that hip and kind of roll your butt cheek towards the floor. And off. As you start to loosen up, maybe take the hand away and back. Good. Now we'll swing that left leg to the front and then back to the back for four, three, two, one. And we'll switch sides. So left leg in this side, right leg to the back, left arm is my post. And same thing, I can send the weight into the hip, send the weight out. Roll on my butt cheek to the floor or towards the floor. Maybe the hand comes up. And then swing the leg to the front. And back for four, three, two, and one. Both legs out to the front. And let's spin to the side. It's gonna warm up our shoulders a little stretch. Then a little inverted foot hand position. And we're just going to rock front to back. So I'm going to press strong through the palms, long arms, long neck. And just start with a small range of motion. And gradually bring my hips towards my heels. A little bit more. And a little bit more. Whatever feels good. Let's take our right arm, we'll cross the chest, hook it with the left, looking over that right shoulder, sitting up nice and tall, and pull the shoulder down. Reach strong through the right fingers. We'll release, sweeping the arms up. 
And we'll let the left arm cross the body this time. Right arm will hook, looking over the left shoulder. Again, long, tall spine. Shoulder plugs in and down. We'll move through that. We're going to sweep up. This time, right arm crosses, left arm hooks. We'll release and sweep. Left arm cross, right arm hook. Release and sweep. Right arm across, left arm hook. Release. Left arm across. Right arm across. We'll do one more. And we'll come back to that inverted foot hand crab position. Good. From here, I'm going to plant my hands to my sides. If you have short arms, you can go knuckles, fingertips, or use yoga blocks. But I'm going to pull to the heels and get a little rock in stretch. I'm going to hold this time. Proud chest. Remember to breathe. And then we'll just swing back. And we'll swing forward once more. We're going to work on transitioning from down dog to this position, our crab position. So for now, I'm going to sway my knees to the left. Reaching with the right, I'm going to take that right foot and step up to a low lunge. If you've viewed other videos before, we've been doing this a lot recently, so why not do it here? Good, we'll inhale the arms up, suck in that gut, scoot the hips forward, and I'm going to pull the arms down like a goalpost. Send the fingertips down and away. We'll inhale, arms up, and replace them down. Then step that right knee to meet the left, and then step over. Back to that side bend sit. Windshield wiper my feet. Let's scoot forward. Scoot back. Windshield wiper my knees to the right this time. Right hand plants, left arm reaches. I'm going to use that wind up to step the left foot forward. And now we're in our low lunge opposite side. I'll scoot over. So same thing here. I'm going to come up, scoot my hips forward, inhale the arms up, and then bring them down. Elbows down, fingertips up. Reaching wide to the arms. Still scooping. Lift the chest. And we'll inhale up. And hands down. Left knee to meet the right. Then I'm stepping over. Back to my inverted foot hand. Do a little rock. Sway my knees. Step up. We'll move through this a little bit quicker. Inhale up. Tuck the hips. Elbows come down. Fingertips go down. Inhale up. Replace the hands. Step right back. Side bent sit. Inverted foot hand. We'll shimmy forward. Shimmy back, sway and step up, left foot forward. Inhale, arms lift, elbows come down, fingertips down. Inhale, arms, exhale, hands come down, left foot steps back. Knees come up, sway forward, and sway back. Knees to the left, right foot steps. Inhaling, exhale, elbows down. Inhale, chest lifts. Exhale, hands to the mat. Stepping back and rolling through. This time we'll just shift all the way through and step up left. Inhale, arms up, elbows down. Inhale, chest lifts, fingertips down. And hands come down. Stepping through, rolling across our cheeks. Right foot steps up. Inhale, arms up. 
Exhale, elbows down. Inhale, chest lifts. Exhale, everything comes down. Back through center one more time. Stepping up left foot. Inhale, arms lift. Elbows down. Chest lifts. Good, hands come down. We'll pause here in our inverted foot hand position. So from here, let's turn it over to our downward facing dog. We're gonna start baby steps, right knee to the side. I call this half butterfly. You got your figure four position. Right hand comes down, my left foot. It's gonna step over into my downward facing dog. We'll come knees down, step back, and we'll switch cheeks. Now, nah. let's do the same side five times. Let's go inverted, right knee half butterfly, right hand plants. I'm gonna step over and downward facing dog. TP position, if you will, from wrestling, coming down and back. One, two, step, three, knees, down, up. One thing to think about as you roll through, I want that bottom foot, the toes are going to start to engage. So if I don't have the flexibility to get my foot underneath me, I'm going to go knee, toes, toes, up. And I just roll to the side of my foot. Let's do one more. Step, toes engaged, lift up. Good. Opposite side. Left knee to the side. My figure four half butterfly this way. Left hand plants. Stepping over. Toes engaged. Downward facing dog. Knees down. Right foot steps over. Inverted. Stepping over. And the same thing. My foot engages, my left foot this time. Toes engage, both feet down. Knees down, right foot steps over the back, hands planted. Good. Let's just swing through to our tabletop. So now let's work our tripod transition. But first, let's do lizard pose to warm up our hips. So from our tabletop, I'm going to step my right foot outside my right hand, make a connection through my forearm and my shin. And if this is enough, I'm just going to sink my hips forward and hold. If you're feeling pretty flexible, you can raise the back knee. And again, I want to imagine a straight line from the top of my head to my back heel. And we'll hold and breathe. Good. We'll lower the back knee. Right foot steps back to meet it. Left foot steps up outside the left hand. Shin, forearm connection. Same thing. I'm going to drive my hips forward. Chest is proud. I'm going to press through my hands. Tuck my chin. And again, I have the option to stay here or raise the back knee. As I raise the knee, I'm going to let my hips melt towards the floor and breathe. Good, let's do one more each side. I'll go a little bit quicker. Left knee comes back, right knee comes forward. I'm going to float the back knee up for three, two, 
one. Stepping the right knee back, left foot steps up, right knee floats. For three, two, one. Good. So now we're gonna transition this with the leg sliding through, that back leg. For now, we're gonna keep the knee bent. So like a baseball slide, we're gonna sit or sit out and knee wrestling, we're gonna do that. So this time, one adjustment you will see. We'll step up with the right foot. Now if I'm thinking for yoga, I'm trying to stay in line, shoulder to the hip, shoulder to the hip, knees outside, all this fun stuff. For me, for moving to make space, this is a very narrow gap for me to slide this leg through. So I shift to the side. This hand's gonna come up. We're gonna keep the knee down for now. I'm gonna press into the foot, press into the hand. Sit my butt cheek down. And then retract. So press through the shoulder, hand and foot. And I'm back. Go to my lizard. For my lizard, we'll call it a lizard lean. And we'll slide through. And back. Let's do that a few times. Lizard, lean, slide. Lizard, lean, slide. Lizard, lean, slide, and back. Let's switch sides. Right foot goes back, left foot comes up. Again, I'm thinking yoga posture, nice and tight, everything's in line, working towards that. For this, I need space. So I have my lizard lean, my right foot half butterfly figure four, sliding through, knee comes back, back to my lizard. Lean, slide. One thing to be aware of, this top knee stays pointing up. You don't want to slide down. Not for this, there's no more pressure, no more strength through the foot. I wanna keep this so I can retract. Knee up, slide, and back. Lizard lean, baseball slide, and back. One more. Good. So for this now, we're gonna use the extended leg. And we're gonna reach long through the back leg. And we'll alternate sides this time. This adds a little bit of balance to it. Still kind of going through the motions, learning the pieces. So this is 12 o'clock. That would be three. We're going to like one, two o'clock, 45 degree angle. So if my right foot steps up, just like what we did, we sat through. This time I'm gonna shoot my leg out to the side. So we'll go knee up if you want, knee long. And back. Stepping up right foot. I lean and I shoot it out. The more you lean, the closer to 12 o'clock you can shoot that leg. If you don't want to raise the knee, you're having a tough time. Just like the previous step, I keep my knee down. I'll slide through, extend the leg, and then I can lift my hips and come back. Retract, knee to the back, lizard, and back. Let's do two of those. Boom, slide through, long leg, lift. Step up, slide, Extend, lift. Good, other side. Left foot steps up. For now, let's baseball slide in. Extend the leg, hips lift. Tuck the foot, knee back, step back. Left foot up, slide, extend, lift. Wrap, back, and back. Step. Slide, extend, lift, down, 
retract, knee back, knee back, step, slide, extend, lift. And one more, why not? Slide, extend, lift, retract. Boom, boom. Good. So that is a position you can always fall back to. For now, we're going to extend through the leg. We're going to lift the knee before we step through. So it'll be a little more challenging. You have to press through the hand through the foot. Let's give it a shot. This time we will actually alternate that. So our tabletop, right foot steps up, my lizard pose, reaching long through the leg, lizard pose, and back. Left foot steps up, lizard, lizard lean, extend, and back. Lizard down, lean, extend, and back. Step, lean. You can extend and extend. Or if you know, if you know you're going right for it, you don't need to stay in line. As I step, I could step wide or I can step and adjust already. Swing and back. See, I'm already adjusting, swing. One more each side. Of course, after that one, got one and one. Good. Let's. So let's use that now to transition to our crab. Inverted foot hand position. I'm going to start with the simple way, keeping our knee down for now. It'll make the most sense. So we'll plant our hands, step up with the right foot, baseball slide that bottom leg through. We were just extending, we're going to keep it bent. Windshield wiper the knee up. I lost my right hand to come behind me. And then my crab. Good. So keeping the right knee up, I'm going to retract. And I'm back. Let's do three. So right foot steps. I slide. Left knee comes up. Right hand goes down. And we'll lift. Retract. And back. One. Step. Slide. Pivot. Hip goes back. And back. Right foot steps up, left cheek slides in, right hand comes down, hips lift. One more. Good, now we gotta do the opposite side. So just like before, left foot steps up, and my lizard lean to the right hand, I slide, my right knee comes up, left hand goes down, do a little hip lift. Boom. 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 Left foot up. Right hip slides. Right knee comes up. Left hand goes down. One, two, three. One more. One. Two, three. Good. So let's so let's do this now. Go downward dog, stepping up to our lizard, tripod transition into our inverted foot hand position, our crab, and then we'll retract, downward facing dog, and 
opposite side. So we can do this. Downward facing dog. Basically a V upside down, hips lifted, palms pressing to the floor, stretching through my heels. As I shift forward to say a plank, I can step my right foot outside my right hand, come into that lizard lean into the left hand, and reach, and crab. We'll reach, lizard, downward facing. Little over. Left foot, lizard lean, slide through again. This knee stays up, crab, downward facing, right foot, transition, back, up, right foot, transition, bend the knees, inverted foot hand, downward facing, lizard, Lizard lean, tripod transition, inverted foot hand, transition to the back, lizard, downward facing, right foot, lean, transition, crab, transition, and back, one, two, three. So now what we can do, instead of going out and retracting back, we can go out and then turn over and keep going around kind of in a circle using the same side over and over again. Let's give that a shot. So coming into that downward facing dog position, and the right foot steps up, left foot slides through, inverted foot hand. Now instead of sliding through, I'm going to step over, right foot stepped over. So now I all right foot forward, left foot slides through, inverted, step over. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Right foot, slide, step. Good. Let's do the other side and then we'll add a note to this. So feeling it out, kind of making the pieces, putting them together, seeing what happens. Now we're facing lizard. Lizard lean, right foot comes through. Inverted foot hand, long leg, step over, left foot, lean, slide through, hit my inverted, and turn over. Left foot lizard, right leg tripod, inverted foot hand, and turn on over. Good. All right, so if you're running into limited space or you know you're doing this drill, you don't have to hit each position to the fullest extent of the stretch. So what do I mean by that? If I know I'm coming into the foot hand position, crab, I don't have to reach long through the leg. So now we know where we're going. Let's say do two laps around, but kind of shortened enough to make micro adjustments. 
So what does that look like? Downward facing lizard. Right to my inverted. Keep the momentum going. I turn over lizard crab. Downward facing lizard inverted foot hand. Downward facing. So if I dissect it, lizard, my transition right into my inverted foot hand. I'm going to reach over and step underneath. Good. That was the right leg going forward. Now I'm going to do the left leg going forward twice or so around. Left foot, inverted foot hand. I keep turning. I pull the hip out underneath. Left foot, slide through, step over. Left foot. One, two, three, four. One. This time, let's roll through the extended leg. So before, just now, we kept it kind of tucked. This time, we're going to reach through and then step over it. So, tabletop, our lizard, lizard lean. Now, I'm going to extend the leg. And before we came here, now over the extended leg, we're going to step and I can go right into it again. Left foot lizard, slide through, step. Left foot lizard, slide through, step. So let's this time, I'm going to try to alternate each step. So. Downward facing dog, right foot steps, transition, turn over. Left foot steps, transition, turn over. Right, two, left, right, left, right, boom. time for today. So, as a cool down, come down to our butts with our legs long, we'll bend our right knee, plant the left hand, and we're basically in our extended tripod position. I'm going to lift the hips and I'm going to float the extended leg up. And we'll hold. So long press through the hand, and let's play with the foot. Maybe we wrap and extend, wrap and extend. All right, one more switch. Left knee up, right leg long, right hand plants. Hips lift, maybe the foot lifts. We can wrap, reach, turn the hip, or just hold. Good. That's a way to build up to this if you're having trouble. You can do each piece kind of statically with a little bit of movement, that's up to you. Whatever feels good on the day, 
or you want to challenge yourself, pick a piece and dissect it. Let's inhale the arms up. Exhale, coming down. Inhale the arms up. This time across the right arm, across the body. Left arm reaches behind us. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist opposite direction. Left arm crosses the body. Right arm reaches behind. Do one more each way. Inhale up. Exhale, cross the body. Right hand. Left knee. Inhale up. Left hand. Right knee. Good. Inhaling to center. We'll go right hand to the floor, left arm up and over, and switch. Left hand down, right arm up and over, and switching. As you get to the side, think of lifting those ribs up for a little extra stretch. And one more each way. Good. We'll roll out our neck. Nice and slow. Next time you're chin to chest, we'll reverse the direction. Center, right ear to right shoulder. I'm gonna reach along through the left arm. Just gonna reach it out. I'm gonna start to look towards the ceiling and then lower the arm. Get it back to center. Crawl my right arm out, left ear towards the left shoulder. I'm going to lift the arm up, kind of looking up, and then I'm going to bring the arm down. Back to center, inhaling up with three big breaths, sweeping in. Exhale, pressing it out for two. Last one, this time palms together, elbows wide, and release the hands. All right, that's class this time. Uh, we should be back next week with some more. I'm working on getting these videos edited and uploaded, so hope you enjoy. Let me know. Stay tuned.